Well, welcome to everyone to this meditation from the School of Christian Mysticism. Welcome to those who are already here and continuing from morning prayer. And welcome to everyone who may be joining us through the uh, video on the website or on YouTube at some other time. So we meet today on the 16th of January, just two day, two weeks, roughly short of the beginning of spring of Imolk. We're still in winter, but spring is within reach. The green points of daffodils and snowdrops are appearing at least where I am here. The birds are singing more in the mornings, I've noticed. And there is that mythical sense of Bridget, the archetype of spring fighting with winter. And on some days like today, there's a beautiful sunshine and Bridget is in ascendancy, bringing spring. And sometimes like yesterday, there's a howling gale and one feels oneself still in the grip of winter. And Rudolf Steiner would say at this point that the earth is breathing out. She starts breathing out at the solstice at Christmas, starting to reveal herself into growth, to outward expression. And in the church year, in the Christian year, we're in Epiphany. And we have the, the image of the three wise men journeying from somewhere like Persia, following a star and letting it guide them to the Christ. And in our meditative life, we make this journey all the time, following the star of the soul, having out, having us, having it lead us to the Christ within. But how do we do that? How do we gain that kind of wisdom? How do we recognize which star it is and how to make the journey? So today we'll explore with the help of the teaching of Jesus, of Yeshua. Something about this acquiring wisdom. In morning prayer this morning, we had a reading from Amos the prophet. 
and he continues to express God's own disappointment in the lack of wisdom in the people. And amusingly, I feel God says through him incredulously about the people, do horses run on rocky crags? Does one plow the sea with oxen? But you have turned justice into poison and the fruit of righteousness into bitterness. For God, one is uh, a somewhat empathy with him. It is her incredulity at all, lack of wisdom. And Paul, in our reading from Corinthians this morning, 1 Corinthians 6, is uh, similarly struggling with the lack of wisdom he feels in the Corinthian population of the time. A society like ours of a great social difference and the difficulty of bringing the parts together into unity in kindness, how to relate to each other in kindness. So let us now go more deeply within. And let us allow our awareness of our breath to help in this going deeply within, if that is a help to you. Regardless, we find our breath deepening and lengthening, calming and expanding.
And as we set off on our journey like the Magi, we hear the teaching of Jesus. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and her righteousness. And all these things shall be added unto you. And I'd like to read an interpretation of this saying of Jesus from Neil Douglas Klotz, the Aramaic and Middle Eastern language scholar and uh, a mystic in the Sufi tradition. And he interprets this saying through working with the various levels of the Aramaic, like this. If you're going to be anxious and rush around about anything, do it first about finding the I can of the universe and how it straightens out your life. Line up your starting place with that of the cosmos. Search and ask and boil with impatience until you find the vision of the one being that empowers all your ideas and ideals, that restores your faith and justifies your love. All the rest, the universal and endless things of life will then attach themselves to you as you need them. You'll stand at the threshold where completeness arrives naturally and prostration leads to perfection. Pouring yourself out makes the universe do the same. If you're going to be anxious and rush around about anything, do it first about finding the I can of the universe and how it straightens out your life. Line up your starting place with that of the cosmos. Search and ask and boil with impatience until you find the vision of the one being that empowers all your ideas and ideals that restores your faith and justifies your love. All the rest, the universal and endless things of life, 
will then attach themselves to you as you need them. You will stand at the threshold where completeness arrives naturally and prostration leads to perfection. Pouring yourself out makes the universe do the same. So let us invoke the kingdom. Seek ye first the kingdom, the queendom, the sovereignty of the one, and is her righteousness. Become aligned with that. And we can Invoke by using the Aramaic, which is used in this sentence of Jesus, Malkuta, the kingdom, or in fact, queendom. Malkuta the Allah, the sovereignty of the one. So we can do that out loud. Malkuta da Allah. 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 Let's continue the invocation, thinking Malkuta to Allah on the in-breath and the out-breath, aligning ourselves, coming into right relationship, righteousness. And letting any repetition or invocation go. Taking it into a deeper silence.
and in our alignment, our righteousness, right relation. We connect with that, all things shall be added to you, shall be added to you, shall be added to you. And in this, the meanings from the Aramaic of becoming somehow a door a threshold, an open door. And out of this door is poured in prostration as we pro prostrate our small self. We pour our small self out. And as we do so through this open door of our being, pours all that we need. shall be added to you.
so as we draw nearer to the close of our meditation for this morning. But knowing that we continue like the Magi on this lifetime's journey of following the star of our soul to find the Christ within. Being constantly, newly born within us. We seek wisdom, discrimination, and we know that we seek the beginningness, seek first the beginning, bring ourselves into alignment with the sovereign oneness. And then we become like a threshold. A doorway and emptiness. Pouring out, prostrating our small self. And receiving what we need to complete us in wisdom and enlightenment at every moment of our journey. And with our psalm today, Psalm 146, we can know that the one watches over those on journey, sending guides and angels to lead the way. Amen. Thank you.